Welcome to the uh, South Africa field course. The focus of this field course is trying to understand biodiversity. Here we've got the opportunity to try to learn how we can actually measure biodiversity and to look at how biodiversity changes. And the reason we come to South Africa is that we're here we've got some of the um, most pristine natural environments available and it's a tremendous place to come to because we have literally within um, this relatively small area some really tremendous habitats. We have the, the Feinbos vegetation right next to me, one of the most uh, diverse areas in terms of numbers of plant species, and it gives us a great opportunity to try to look at diversity processes, how diversity in one small scale translates up to diversity at a regional level. We also have the opportunity here to look at how diversity changes over time. Um, the Langaban Lagoon behind me which has got um, one of the largest areas of salt marsh in Africa, just literally um, over the edge of the lagoon. We have the lagoon itself, which is an important site for migrant wading birds. And we're here at the time that these birds are arriving from, from Northern Europe, from Siberia, and they're gradually coming into the lagoon. So over the course of the week, we can track the way the diversity changes as new species arrive, as these large flocks of birds come in. So from the start of the week, we might be looking at literally uh, a few hundred birds, whereas by the end of the week, we may have even as many as several thousand migrant birds in the lagoon. Slightly further afield, you can just see maybe behind me, um, the granite hills over at Postberg. Uh, this is a beautiful area of um, relatively high granite. Um, a lot of the plants there are unique to that area. And it's also an area where we can have the opportunity of looking at large mammals. There are herds of eland and wildebeest and zebra, which we can observe very easily. And then over the other side of the, um, uh, the Postberg area, we have um, a beach called 16 Mile Beach, uh, a beautiful windswept beach with um, very dramatic coastline. Uh, the waves compounding in onto this, um, this beach. It's very sort of, almost sort of mysterious with the, the mist and the salt spray coming in. The other reason why we come to South Africa is over the other side of the hills here, we have some um, very, very highly productive rocky shore habitats. And again, we can use this as a focus for trying to understand um, the scale at which biodiversity changes. On the rocky shore, we can track biodiversity changes literally from the scale of 25 by 25 centimeters up to the scale of one meter by one meter. And we could see even at this level that diversity changes in space. Every year we come here, we look at the field course location, we think, well, isn't this tremendous? And nearly every year we think, is there anywhere else we could go that would match what we've got here? And I honestly have to say that every year we struggle to find anything which would be as good. The fact that we've got these amazing, pristine habitats literally within a few miles of the, uh, the research center, we have them all to ourselves, is really a uni unique opportunity. And I think for, for studying coastal ecology, this has to be pretty well the best place in the world.